Alright, what's going on guys? This is Chris and welcome back to another Modern Warfare 3 commentary. Today what I have for you is a UMP 45 MOAB on the map Hardhat. And you know, UMP has been one of the guns that I really wanted to get a mob with for quite some time now. And for some reason I've never been able to do it and I don't know why that is really. I think it's mainly because the gun just doesn't seem to agree with me. And uh, after a significant amount of effort and uh, really trying to you know, get some different gameplay for the channel, I eventually got it on uh, Kill Confirmed which is very, very surprising to be honest. But I, uh, I saw Insomulus playing uh, Kill Confirmed on one of his live streams and basically copied the class. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I, you know, that, that's sometimes the best way to watch other people and adapt your classes to their setups. And it worked extremely well. So I'm using the uh, UMP45 with Sartre and Extender Mags, uh, Slight of Hand, Quick Draw, and Stalker with the Tactical Insert, not Tactical Insertion, sorry, the Portable Radar and C4. And the specialist perks are Hardline, um, Recon, and Steady Aim, I think. Uh, so if you want to try this class and see what you can do with it, please be my guest. Uh, so anyway, guys, I'm going to move on to the commentary topic now because I've talked about the gameplay for some, well, quite a lot of time now. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about production quality and improving your uh, videos as a commentator. Now, I understand that a few people who watch my videos are commentators, and a few people have asked for these sort of videos. Uh, so here it is. Now, in my opinion, there are six key areas to making, you know, good videos. I'm not saying that my videos are good, but I'm just saying, you know, this is what I do, and I do get some good feedback on them. Uh, so, the first uh, key topic is the gameplay. Now, you really have got to understand that some channels do, you know, not great gameplay, but they do amazing commentary. Other channels do, you know, good commentary, but really amazing gameplay. It really depends. I mean, an example of that is, say for example, uh, Fearcrats, he does amazing, amazing gameplay. Uh, with his, his commentary is good, uh, don't get me wrong, but then when you compare it to someone like uh, Woody's Game Attack, for example, I mean, his gameplay is not, you know, amazing, but his commentary is brilliant. Uh, it's just really the, the two ends of the spectrum, really, and you've got to decide where you fit in. Now, I mean, I try to keep in the middle of that, I try to keep, you know, good gameplay, and hopefully, you know, good commentary. I mean, I put a lot of work into my videos to see, to make sure they are good. Um, next topic is the video processing. Now, the four areas of this that I focus on are the colour correction, sharpness, saturation adjust, and I also disable the resample to make sure everything runs smoothly. Uh, now that makes all the covers vivid and, you know, so you can see them a lot better, so they pop out of the, well, pop out the screen almost. Uh, every single colour that you see will be enhanced, and all the sharpness obviously makes the picture uh, sharper, as obvious as that sounds. A disable resample, um, I think, I think it just basically re uh, stops the resampling of the image, so it doesn't keep um, looping. Uh, I don't know exactly how that works, I'm not, you know, that great with that sort of thing, uh, but this one I do. You know, there's plenty of YouTube tutorials out there to see how to uh, get good video processing quality, so just go and search them. I mean, they're out there. I do exactly the same, uh, so I'm sure you guys can too. The final element of a video processing is the render settings. Now, these are extremely important, and I use Sony Vegas Pro 11 to do it, and I use uh, WMV, which stands for Windows Media Video... Yeah, Windows Media Video, I think. Um, normally, I can use MP4 as well. It doesn't really matter which one you go for. You can just pick and choose, really. Uh, so, yeah, that's that. Um, the next key topic is the microphone quality. Now, I started out with a the microphone that's attached to my Astro A40s. And, you know, it worked well for me for quite a long time. And I've never really had any problems with it. But in order to just increase the production quality on my channel, I decided to go for a Blue Yeti, and that's what I'm speaking into right now, uh, with a pop filter from Editor's Keys, which is a triple... Um, triple layered pop filter so it's really like the best one you can get and it seems to work really well I mean I get a lot of positive comments about my video and my audio and then I process the audio accordingly uh, I'd rather not give out exactly how I do that because it's uh, you know it's one of the key things that makes my channel stand out and I put a lot of work into it uh, well from second to last is the intro and outro now I do have an outro that I occasionally put on my videos uh, I do sometimes not have enough time to put it on and that's why you know sometimes it doesn't get on the channel um, I don't currently have an intro I'm currently looking to get one uh, however I'm getting a logo made by Evan Eckard and I'm planning on using that logo to do the intro so uh, hopefully that will be coming soon and lastly 
thumbnails. Now I've got an awesome thumbnail artist called Jay Newark who produces most of my thumbnails as well as DRX Disciple. Uh, both their links will be in the description below. You know, they are really, really amazing guys. Please do be sure to go and check them out. You know, they do a lot of my thumbnails because I, I really can't do Photoshop. I can't even draw a stick, man. So, uh, you know, that's just how much help they are. Okay, guys, so I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please do be sure to leave a like rating. I really do appreciate that. It lets me know that you guys have enjoyed the video. Uh, also, be sure to leave a favourite if you really, really have enjoyed it. So until next video guys, I shall see you soon. Thank you very much for watching.